Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally getting the front porch decorated for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna actually do the whole yard and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna do a really fun DIY around the door, which I'll show you how I did all from the dollar store and I cannot wait to show you how it all turns out. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIYs. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and join the fun. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful Valentine's Day decorate with me. Before we head outside, I wanted to make a nice cup of coffee. It is very cold on this particular day, and we're about to get a little bit of rain here. We live in Northern California in the wine country and we've had a lot of rain recently so i'm going to get a nice cozy cup of coffee i found these really cute cups at home goods and then we are going to head outside okay guys so here is a little behind the scenes we have been doing crafts with the kids we made cards for the family and here's kind of like the aftermath of everything. But today is a very exciting day because we are going to do the front yard. Let me show you what we're gonna do today. Okay, so here we're going to build an arch that's gonna go up and around for the front door. And then I have some little hearts and things that are gonna go here. And then I also am gonna dangle some hearts from the tree. I also have hearts that are gonna go here, 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 and down here. It's gonna look so cute. Cannot wait. Um, but I do have a couple DIY projects we're gonna do today. So let me get started with that. Here is current decor, looking cute, cute, cute. We also, hey, Jamie, then, uh, not gonna happen today because I have too much to do, but I have some balloons I'm gonna put up here. It's gonna look really cute. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna go along. I have so many Valentine's Day projects I'm gonna do with you guys. I also have my daughter's birthday party we're gonna do with you guys. So much, so much that I need to stop talking and we need to get started. Okay guys, let's get decorating. You set my wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for you. get started on my Valentine's Day arch. I'm going to be using an actual uh, balloon arch kit that I use every time I do a balloon arch around the door. And basically you can pick this up on Amazon. I will link everything I have there, but um, I'm going to use zip ties to kind of hold it to these hooks that we put in for my holiday decor just to kind of hold it in place. It's not going to actually stay here. And then I got some noodles. They had pink and white at the dollar store, and I thought it would be a nice base to kind of wrap all of this cute stuff around. Obviously, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to hot glue all the hearts and stuff to it. So I ended up picking about six of these up at the dollar store. I'm just going to slide them onto the balloon arch, um, and then I'm going to actually secure it with some more zip ties on those hooks around the door. Okay guys, so here is the stuff we're going to be using for the um, front door. I've got a bunch of zip ties and we got some hot glue. I made these cute little envelopes. And then here is the deco mesh I picked up from the dollar store. Here are the hearts we got on Amazon and these little conversation hearts. Here is how this turned out. So what we're gonna do now is basically take this and start to wrap these just to give it a nice background. Then I'm gonna loop through a bunch of deco mesh. We'll use both. So I got um, this dark pink here and then this really light pink. I think they will look great kind of in contrast. And then we're gonna be gluing these hearts everywhere like that. Okay. To 
create some pretty variation in this arch, I decided to use three different things to kind of wrap around this. So I'm leaving space for the deco mesh. I also will need to glue all the hearts and the little envelopes that I made in, um, I actually made those, I think two years ago in a video. I will link a playlist at the end of this video for you to click on if you're looking for a bunch of other Valentine's Day uh, DIY and decorate with me's. I always do pretty much homemade decorations for Valentine's Day. They're kind of hard to find, um, like really beautiful stuff for Valentine's Day that's a little over the top. So I'm going to be filling this in. And then again, we're going to be gluing all that onto the uh, noodles. That's kind of like going to be the base. So you want to leave a little bit of space so that you can hot glue all your special little pieces to this. But for the most part, this is very simple. You could also do this for like a birthday uh, and get those... Um, I did a happy birthday sign in the yard for my daughter, but you could also glue that around this as well. That'd be really cute if you are looking for some ideas for a birthday party. But anyway, I'm gonna keep using the deco mesh around this. I have two different colors, a dark pink and a light pink. So again, it'll create lots of different variation. And then we are gonna go ahead and tuck in all of our cute little hearts. Before the sun goes down all of your deco mesh and any whatever else you're going to use you could also use streamers around here you want to kind of just fluff them up i want to make this appear to be larger again we're going to be gluing in a bunch of little things but i like to kind of pull it off that way it gives it a lot of dimension and depth but um once you kind of have everything in place you can go ahead and start gluing on your things now I have these really sweet conversation hearts, which is kind of the theme of this Valentine's Day. I have some simple hearts, and then I also made these envelopes for a front porch decorate with me at my old house, which again, I will link in a playlist at the very end of this video. You guys could just totally binge on. It's so good. Um, but I'm going to use those this year because I kept them. And just slowly using a hot glue gun, I'm just going to add these to uh, this arch. One thing I will suggest is make sure it glues directly onto your noodle and not onto the deco mesh. Otherwise, it'll just flop over. But it just kind of like I'm using different colors and just trying to separate everything because I know I'm going to be tucking in different hearts throughout um, this arch as well. And I kind of going to make them pop off. So you want to like kind of just glue these going different ways, left to right, right to left, you know, straight, however. You'll see how mine turns out, but everything kind of looks like it's dancing on this uh, arch. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated with you. Hey, playing songs on the radio. Sing along to the words that we don't know how. Brings out the problems. Let's just run away. Yeah, I can drive the heart along. Being with you is like being on the road. Your house brings out the problems. I got a little crush on you. Now that you have your first set of whatever you're going to add to your arch, kind of like separate them around, then go into the next item. I like to separate them out so I'm doing all of these in phases. That way I can make sure everything is evenly distributed and it looks nice and symmetrical. So I'm going to add the hearts 
I really like doing them so they're kind of popping off the arch. So I'm gonna be gluing them on the sides and then I'll be putting the conversation hearts layered over those. But just take your time, go one at a time, make sure you step back, take a look at it, make sure everything is symmetrical and looks perfect. And then you can always go back and touch up later. You say that I'm crazy. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. So now that our little Valentine's Day arch is done, I want to start adding some decor around. So I decided to add a nice wreath to the door. I found this really cute uh, little heart. I think I got this at Michael's actually. Um, and then I found this lover's lane at Michael's as well. So I'm just going to tuck that in. I just think it looks very sweet. I mean, I literally could have just done that. It would have looked adorable, but I always like to add something very sweet on the door. And then around the yard, I want to start adding hearts to kind of go with the theme of the arch as well. So we're going to add some beautiful hearts and can't forget a nice doormat I found this one at Target and I just think it looks very sweet these hearts are for the yard signs and I will link them down below these actually came from Amazon but they also had very similar ones at the dollar store uh, so I have both um, so if you guys are looking for those I will link them down in the description box down below I love how these hearts look. It's giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes, which makes me want to have like an Alice in Wonderland party. I just think it looks so cute. Um, these hearts are also weatherproof, so it's currently raining outside and they have been out in the rain for two or three days now and they turn, they're perfect, no issues. None of them have fallen over. They are plastic, so they will weather very well. And also you guys can um, save them. Just take the sticks out, put them back in your Valentine's decorating box and then reuse them for the following year. Or if like you have an anniversary, it'd be really cute to decorate your yard uh, for when your wife or husband come home. It just kind of like adds a nice touch. I've noticed a lot of people driving by our house and stopping and taking photos, uh, which just brings so much joy to my heart. I love to decorate. I love to make the house look fun. So it brings just a happy spirit. If you guys are new here, we had a house um, that was an old Victorian that I used to decorate all the time. I wrapped it with a giant bow once. And I just love when I meet somebody in town and they'll be like, oh my God, you have the house with a big red bow. I love that house, it just makes me so happy. So since we've moved, I feel like I'm getting back to my old self. And I've also gotten really into inflatables. So I decided like, heck, why not? Let's do an inflatable. I found this adorable little teddy bear that says happy Valentine's Day. And then I put some cute hug me and honey signs next to him. I just used a simple zip tie and tied him so that he didn't blow away. And it just looks so cute. But I will show you guys how everything turned out. I absolutely love it. It's just so sweet. And just remind you, this is the season of giving love and spreading love and sharing love. So if this isn't a reminder to slow down and remind yourself to not only love yourself, but to give somebody else love too. I will take you guys on a little tour and then I'll meet you at the end of this video. It's always
Road 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do I hope you guys enjoyed today's little Valentine's Day decorate with me here in the yard and this fun little DIY. You could even do that in the house too. I will link everything I can down below. Otherwise, hit up your local dollar store and snag as much as you can. I will see you guys in a video very soon. Don't forget to wait to the end of this video so you can check out my Valentine's Day decorate with me playlist. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.